that? What are you doing? <laughs> you, you, you whine every episode about how hard it is to get motivation to make these houses. What are you doing tearing them down, you, you idiot? You freaking idiot. I've, I've gone crazy is the best explanation I can give. Actually, welcome, by the way, to episode 29 of Minecraft. First and foremost, I'm using... You, you, hello, words? I'm using a new program for recording DX Tori. It's a completely new setup for me with the audio and everything, so let me know if the audio sounds off. Um, it shouldn't, as long as I don't screw it up on my own. Um, that is why we tore down that house, though, and this is going to have to get torn down, too. Because... In a town that you make, there should be a main road that leads through the town to the, you know, important stuff. I want to work on the important stuff in this town. The castle, sort of. Now, we'll talk further about that. It's not really going to be a castle. But we'll get into that. So let's come over here. I've got started on the layout of what is... I don't know what to call this. It's not going to be a castle per se. But I want all my towns I make to be finished with some sort of keep, castle, whatever. Something to make it other than just a small town. Or if we just make a small town, you know, that's fine too. This isn't just like a tiny little town though. I want some sort of government building. And this is what we're going to be working on today. So let me explain a little bit about this layout. This right section right here is going to be the gate. And this is what we're going to be working on today, I think. Section here is an open courtyard. Back here, I, I don't have it like finished. This is going to be the bulk of the building. I don't know what size it's going to be or what it's going to look like. I'm going to kind of ease my way into that. This will be a side building. Over here, this open area, I'm thinking stables. A town like this would need stables, right? So I was really thinking today, what do you do in a town like this to keep it appropriate to the theme and setting. A castle is not going to work. Just like a big farmhouse isn't really going to work. So this is more of like a guild house, I suppose. Does that make sense? Did I just like make up? Does everyone understand what I say when I say a guild house? Or is that just like something that I came up on my own? I'm not really sure. So yesterday... I was catching up on some B-dubs, uh, some of his Let's Play, uh, and B-dubs has seen my videos, apparently. He was talking about our farm tutorial that I put up, about 10 tips for farming towns. He made it pretty obvious I was talking about my video, because he used multiple tips. <laughs> and the guy... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't use he didn't say my name unfortunately it's really I, mm, I should say I'm really happy that my video got out there and that he saw it B-dubs is I've been watching B-dubs for gosh five six years that sounds like a long time I watched him back in high school and I'm three years Going into four years into college now. So it's got to be at least five. So it's cool that he saw it and that he liked it. That was definitely rewarding. A nice feeling. I wish that he had mentioned me for obvious reasons. I feel like I'm just on the cusp of, of getting noticed. It would be really cool, but at the same time, you know, it's like, yeah, beat ups, beat ups on my videos, so my videos are getting out there, which is an improvement. 
So that alone I am happy for. But anyways, what am I doing here? <laughs> it's like, this is a real great building you got here. Nice stuff right here. This is what I subscribe to you for. See this beautiful, what the heck? This has got to come down. These are not even even. Not even even. I want to make these walls, the entrance. My vision for this wall is one, something that you can walk through. Two, something that has an, a proper hallway kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It's going to be kind of a section of actual building on top of it. And two, something that there's a gate on. So let's start with what we know we want with the gate. So I think I'm going to have the gate actually be set in the ground as opposed to a gate that lowers down, one that raises up. So let's outline it with... Um... No like that you get you get the gist of it let me fill this in so wanted to seal up the guild uh <laughs> i gotta find a proper word the gate would rise up and lock into position up here i put it down two blocks so that it's clearly like has some depth to it if you're walking over it it's not it's only too deep which would only bring up to here perhaps i should add another row but i think that that's just kind of overthinking it <laughs> i should probably mention that i want to do this in the similar fashion that i did that which just rendered in for me when i did that i think it was a three-part series where i did like Episode 1, the base. Episode 2, or the windmill or something, and finishing up, whatever. I want to do this in parts, like, episode 1, the gate. Episode 2, courtyard. You get the idea. I'm looking at this, though. So I'm trying to figure out the foundation, sort of, for this upper level that you can actually go into. Would it look better... If I did it like this and had these stagger more, maybe. I think we're going to have to build it before we decide. Here's my plans for going about this. I know what I want for a general shape. I don't know the details of how I want to look. So I'm going to put that general shape in first and then work out the details. So. This wall is going to get duplicated over there, so you're going to have a three wide walkway up on top, whereas right here, you just have a one wide walkway. This is just for like getting into guard areas. In fact, I'm considering making this area right here a guard barrack. By the way, when we finish this, I want it to be completely fleshed out on interior. Like, I want to. I don't want to skip anything when it comes to uh, burps. Oh, my. Oh, that felt good. I don't want... <laughs> Jesus, weird. Um, I don't want to, like, skip out on anything. I don't want to be lazy. I really want the interior to be an attraction to this building. Now, when I was planning it, I was thinking, this is really big. Now that I'm up here and like, this is just a hallway and it was a good portion of it, this front section, it really doesn't seem that huge, really. I think that we've got a good size for the theme that we're going for. So let's take this a step further with the details that I know that I want. Now this is a design that I have used quite a bit in the past. Do I have this right? where I'll stagger the roof, I'll raise it up, 
as such right above windows and I'll knock out these windows really quick to show you what I mean. After I place these, I'm placing them in a way so that they should fall in the middle between these supports so not everything is in line. You want to make sure that these things work together in ways like that, and they do. See how it it's almost like these frame what are going to be the windows there as such. Now, I'm going to have to find something to do with these windows. I'll probably put fence in them, which is a theme around here. We did it right there. But now after that, I think I'm going to keep the theme of the hay roofs for this section of the building. For the entrance, I do not want that for the main part of the it's just called a castle okay <laughs> thinking castle for the main part of the castle i don't want this this does not scream government building royalty wealth power it, those are not things that that says to me i'm gonna need more freaking hay you know what i bet you that this whole thing is going to require me to go through that entire hay field again. Oh. Did I tell you that I had finished this house here? Maybe? Well, I did, so it's a very nice house. It's kind of a boring house. But belongs to our friend Dudley, so it's got to be good. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know who Dudley is. I just made that up. Um, so, I've done more work. And uh, it's about what I want to do for today. I'm thinking maybe so I can help myself maybe be a little more motivated to get more video, 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 hello, videos out. Maybe shorter videos. Do a little bit less in each one. I think in all in all, we'll probably get more done faster like this. So this is the entrance. Uh, what have I added? First of all, let's take this ugly thing down, would you please? Thank you. I have added the roof, the hay roof. And as far as I'm planning right now, this is... Oh my, I have forgotten... My shader, you can't just go to no shaders in a video Once you, when you start out with shaders. Look at it. Look how much more beautiful that is. Anyways, I added the roof. I added the windows. I did a little bit of work down here. I added a stone base because this wall, it was all cobblestone. It was a little bit boring. I needed something to mix it up. I thought pillars, no, pillars aren't going to really fit in here. I'm not looking for a pillar feeling. That's not the building that we're looking for. By the way, I decided we're going to call this the Farmer's Guild. Maybe? Farmer's Guild? Yeah. Um, Then it was just too much stone. So I knocked these out, put some of these wooden um, windows. Yeah, that's what that is. Some of these for supports. Just a little bit of stuff. I added some doors here and made it so that, you know, you can walk in here. This will lead to the stable over here. Or this one over here will lead to the barracks that... Right now I'm planning barracks right here. And there's also going to be a doorway right there. But those are the plans right now. So today we didn't get a whole lot done. I mean, oh, I just hit my mic. I got stuff done. I got I got the thing planned out. I guess that's some stuff, right? I got this. And this. You know, I was worried that this place was just going to be too big for our area. We got all this to put houses on. This, this town's going to grow still. But, you know, now that I made this wall, it made me realize this courtyard's actually not that big. It's really not. This is going to beef it up quite a bit. Over here, this wall, I'm thinking this is just going to be a wall right here. 
no, nothing that you can go in or anything. And then, you know, the stable, that's just, that's utilitarian stuff right there. So anyways, I'm not sure what this video came out to be. I think it came out to be shorter than normal. Every time I say that, it ends up being the same as always. I don't even time my videos. They just always end up to be about 30 minutes long, no matter what. I got to do something over here. This, See, this is the difference that stuff like this and these walls, look at what a difference, how boring that is. And come down here and how exciting this is it makes such a big difference guys it's a little stuff it doesn't matter you learn a little trick it's like copy and paste in it just all over your town you gotta use that little stuff like it's nothing especially if it's not like attention seeking stuff just use that use that stuff everywhere and that's the stuff that really pulls these towns together but i'm really excited to get started on what Maybe the biggest building that I've made on in Minecraft in quite some time in survival. This is, I'm I'm excited about what this is going to turn into. So, anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think about the floor layout, what everything is looking like is going to turn into, what your vision of what this could turn into is. I think it's I think it'll be interesting to see how you guys you think that I you've from the description I've given you I'm sure you have your own vision of how this place is going to look and then how I execute it is going to be different probably so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out but anyways thank you for watching everybody thank you so much have a good day and if you liked it then leave us a like and subscribe bye what I do, da da do, da da do.